Imagine you're running on your normal route, blasting music through your earbuds. You don't notice the car starting to approach you from behind. And you don't notice them start to slow down and match your speed. And it isn't until his outstretched hand is inches away from you that you finally notice and you start sprinting down a side street. Running and gender-based harassment can be seen across the country, even in smaller communities that may seem safe. I've been running for 10 years, and my dad coached me for the entirety of my high school running career. Running and gender-based harassment is a community issue that may not get as much publicity as other community issues, but being educated about it can prove to be life-saving. I'm going to talk about examples and statistics about running and gender-based harassment, and also safety tips that can help protect against potential risks. First, examples and statistics about victims from across the nation. There are a plethora of harassment examples against female runners with statistics that help support their claims. The first person I want to talk about is 28-year-old Amber Carr from Michigan. In Michelle Hamilton's 2016 Runner's World article, Running While Female, Carr explains how she was running by a group of men one afternoon when one of them yelled, hey, I can show you a real workout, while gesturing downwards. In a survey conducted by Runner's World, 18% of women runners have been sexually propositioned. Next, I want to talk about 36-year-old Jennifer Herr from Brooklyn. In Hamilton's article, Herr reveals that a policeman yelled at her to stop running, but when she turned around, she saw that he was actually talking to a man who had been chasing her. In the same Runner's World survey, it was found that 30% of women runners have been followed. Next, I want to talk about some safety tips that can help prevent or defend against potential risks. Being safe is an important aspect to runner knowledge. The first tip I want to provide is to run with a buddy, or if that is impossible, to bring your dog with. In Lauren Hargrave's 2017 active article, Six Running Safety Tips, running with a friend lessened your risk of attack and doubled your chance of survival should you be attacked. Dogs are also a great substitute. They make you appear less vulnerable and they can also sense danger before we do. My next bit of advice is to not run with earbuds in. Now this may seem like madness for many runners, but running with earbuds makes it close to impossible to hear a potential attacker approaching you. Music also dulls your senses and makes you less alert. With that being said, it makes it a lot harder to defend yourself in a surprise attack. As you can see, runners are not always as safe as they may feel. Not everyone is completely aware of the severity of running and gender-based harassment. I provided examples and statistics that provide proof of how this has personally affected women from across the nation. And being mindful about some safety tips can help ensure that, this, that these scenarios don't happen to you. It can, be hard for, it can be hard for some to imagine how scared and vulnerable the victims must have felt. But for others, these feelings are just too real.